Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick and dirty gardening DIY. Um, we have a honeysuckle vine that I've planted back here, a gold flame honeysuckle vine, which I would like to have vining up the back of our fence. And it's a really big plant. It gets really, really big and long. Um, so we're gonna need a really big trellis, but I didn't want to use wood to build it because wood is still super expensive and it'll also break down pretty quickly outside. So I'm going to show you the DIY that we did for our solution. Here's another close up look here at the vine. And then you can see we have a vinyl fence, which means that we cannot easily screw anything into the fence that isn't um, on these posts because the post parts they have um, wood on the inside and then the vinyl is just like a sleeve over the wood posts so uh, yeah anything else is hollow and difficult to screw into so that kind of limits us and what we're able to do here I ordered these white vinyl hooks that are designed for vinyl fences excuse me not vinyl hooks they're like powder coated um, steel, I think, and they are designed to hang things from vinyl fences. So I'm gonna show those to you. And then this is the paint that I'm using for um, the vinyl hooks and also for the uh, cage thing. Um, I only chose this paint because it's supposed to help stop rust, which I mean, no paint is foolproof, but I do like Rust-Oleum spray paints. And then it also matches the color of our fence as closely as I could find. So here are the hooks. Normally I would have more protection underneath um, for spray paint, but we're having some work done in our backyard, which means that I don't really care about the area around it because the grass is already long dead. So I'll just give these a generous coat here and then let them dry and flip them over. All right, and that is done. And obviously if you get the traditional white vinyl fence, you can just leave these white and it's even easier. So you can see here by our fire pit, we have these free chairs that we're rehabbing that we got from our neighbors on bulk trash day. And I have a big rusty wiry metal cage here. And this is just for pouring concrete. It's to help stabilize the concrete when you pour large amounts. Um, and yeah, it works great for a trellis, but it is not that pretty, but it's big and it's cheap. All right, this is about the best shot I could get. So I'm not going to spray them up against this, obviously, because I don't want to get it all over the chairs, even though they need painted anyway. I don't want to paint them with spray paint and I don't want to paint them with this. So you're just going to spray paint the rebar and it doesn't have to be a um, super, uh, super good spray paint job because I'm hoping eventually it'll be covered with lines anyway. All right, so we're done painting and we've got our hooks dried and ready to go. So I'm going to put those on the very top of the fence and then we're going to hang up the trellis. So these actually are not fixed into place, but I'm not too worried about it because the weight of the trellis and then eventually the plant holding it down should be more than enough weight to keep things in place. So I'm going to use all four just because the trellis is pretty wide and I'm going to hang it lengthwise, but I mean, you don't have to, these are pretty versatile. You can use however many you want. You probably only need two if you're hanging it height wise. All right, and then I just hung it here. You can see this panel is actually the perfect width for the space in between the posts. So even if I did want to drill or nail into the wood underneath of the sleeves on the post, this panel would not be wide enough to do that. So this is really the perfect solution. Um, the vine is just about long enough to start feeding it up through the trellis. And then I'm hoping since these plants get super big that maybe by next year, I will be able to put a second panel right there. And then this whole thing will be covered with beautiful honeysuckle vines. So I will definitely do an update to show you guys how it holds up and to show you the progress.